<clears throat> all right, all right, all right. Happy New Year. Welcome to the year 2021. We already know 2020 was crazy. We talked about that pretty much throughout the whole year, right? Now, here's the deal. New year, new you, new beginnings, new heights, new opportunities, new possibilities, new everything, right? I'm going to give you 10 ways to be, feel, and look better this year. 2021. So if that sounds good to you, keep on watching. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And like I said, I'm going to give you 10. I made up a list real quick. So I just came up with this real fast. And these are things that you should be doing already, guys. But if you're not, definitely start this year, like today. Okay, so boom, number one. Got get good sleep. <clears throat> okay, you have to take the time to get good sleep. Adequate rest will lead to success, right? Some of the most successful people literally designate time and make sure they get their good sleep because it's just that so vital, right? So if you're skipping on sleep and you're missing hours of sleep, you're not doing your body justice. You're not recharging and restoring and living at your best, right? So you definitely want to get as many as seven to eight hours if you can every night to ensure that you're fully functioning and that you're doing your best and performing at high frequency, guys, because what happens if you're not fully rested, you tend to have this fog-like mentality and mindset, and you go through the day without high intensity, okay? And if you want to be successful, you have to be high intensity. So you got to be charged up and energized, all right? Second thing, guys, you have to take care of your body as far as eating the right things, right? You have to have a healthy diet. So that means getting rid of all the junk food, all the unnecessary fats, all of the greasy things, right? Whatever it is that is ruining your diet and ultimately not healthy, you gotta try to get rid of it or at least eat it only in moderation, okay? Stick to a clean diet, you know, clean protein, clean greens, fruits, vegetables, if you can. Everybody, you know, wants desserts. Everybody wants the junk foods, right? But you guys, if you really want to, again, feel, look, and overall just be better, you gotta remind yourself that you are what you eat. Literally, your body is so important to the point that you need to put high quality substances into you so you can, again, be a high quality person, okay? Because if you're eating food with no nutritional value, it's not doing your body right, your body's not going to be able to function properly and you just will be, you'll be lagging and stuff like that, right? So definitely make sure you're having a healthy, well-balanced diet, okay? Number three, guys. Workout, okay? You have to be working out, okay? Whether you're doing at-home workouts right now, I know some of your gyms might be closed, uh, but you gotta do some type of workout. You know, go, go to the gym or, or again, work out at home, okay? You can even take walks or, you know, runs or ride a bike, but you have to be literally getting some type of exercise three to five days every week, man. You know, and do it for like 20, 30 minutes, maybe an hour if you are really trying to push yourself, you know, but make sure you incorporate that regardless of the time. You can even do quick five, seven minute workouts if that's really all the time you have. It's not an excuse not to get a workout in, not to get your endorphins and your adrenaline and your heart rate going, right? So it's, it's really one of the best things you need to incorporate this year so you can really be in charge of your life. It's not only just for the fitness aspect of it, it's for your, men your mind state, it's your mentality, right? So you guys, make sure you're working out. If you're not working out, get off the couch, you know, you know do some push-ups, do some sit-ups. Do some jumping jacks, do some jump roping, whatever the case may be. Do some free weights, do some bench press, do some squats. Do something, right? Because you got to be active, guys. You have to be active. Okay, so that's that. The fourth thing is work on your fashion, okay? Work on your fashion. So obviously, it's not all about wearing the top designer clothes and Gucci, Louis, Fendi, Prada, Balenciaga, this and that. Like, you don't have to be super designer, but you have to know what fashion, you have to know what looks good, what's in style, and most importantly, what looks good on you, right? So find a style for you that suits you, you know, and work on dressing as best as you possibly can, okay? You really can never be overdressed, okay? Now, yes, I'm not telling you to get low, cheap products or, you know, things that aren't nice. No, get what you want, get what you like, you know, get what feels good and makes you feel confident. 
but just remind yourself, you don't need to spend a lot of money to look good, honestly. You know, you can find a lot of great stores with a lot of great products, and you will look really great in them. So just work on your style, work on your fashion, you know, figure out who you are and what look you're trying to get off, and then dress accordingly. All right, guys? Fifth thing, make sure you're drinking a lot of water. All right, guys, this is really important. Your body's basically made up entirely of water, so boom. Obviously, you need to consume it. If you're not drinking water, you're dehydrating your body. And your skin will be showing, you know, dryness, and you'll be moving slowly. Everything is kind of a bit... It's like WD-40 for your body, man, and it goes straight to the brain. So you need to make sure you're drinking water so that you are always replenished, you know, always replenished. Because you're going throughout the day, and your body needs the water that it's made of. Okay, so drink a lot of water, seven to nine glasses, perhaps, you know, maybe a gallon, whatever it is you can. I advise you just to drink as much as possible. And at that, don't even drink as many sugar drinks. Like, try to really only drink water. That's really the only drink you need. You know, if, if, if you're drinking because you're thirsty, just drink water. Now I get it, you want to have a soda or a milkshake, or you want to have a lemonade or an, a, a beverage, an alcoholic drink, like, okay, cool. But for your primary drink, man, just choose water, you know? And choose high quality water, you know, pH balanced water or spring water, natural water, nothing that's been, you know, filtered or purified. You know, try to get the best water you possibly can, alkaline and stuff like that. All right. The sixth thing, guys, I would say literally stop hooking up with people. Like, I know you guys are like horny and, you, and everybody's trying to fuck and you do all this hooking up and this culture is crazy these days, but I would really honestly suggest, especially right now with these times, you know, with COVID and all this shit, all the things going on, like, Personally, you know, I don't think it's cool. I don't think you should be out here just sharing your body with multiple people. Okay, so that's not healthy, right? So that's definitely something you should stop doing, man. Try to find, you know, if you're interested in doing something like that, try to find somebody, just one person, and, and have that person be the person you do all that with. You feel what I'm saying? So do that, and you'll have you'll save yourself a lot of potential, you know, diseases and stresses and worries and problems and sure you want to have pleasure but that's all it is so find somebody you like trust and want to do things with and then that's just all you should do you should not be out here just doing pointless hooking up it's not good for your esteem realistically it's not good for your body it's not good for your soul it's not good for you okay so i'm going to keep that at that um but i'm not judging you you know you got to do what you want to do but you know i would suggest you know practice discipline practice strength practice you know um just rejection you know and, and feeding temptations and not being lustful, you know, just live better than that, you know, have better standards for yourself, for your body, and respect yourself better than that, all right? So, because that's true, that's really true character, you know, that's really what you want to be aiming for. You don't want to be weak and doing stuff like that, guys, all right? So moving forward, we got number seven. This one's pretty cool. I came up with this one, and I was just, I was just like, all right, so just, you know, come up with a new hobby, like, or, or, or pursue something that you already wanted to do and you haven't done already, you know, like, that's something you should do. It's going to make you feel better. You're going to look better because you're doing something that you wanted to do. You're pursuing your dreams, you know, you know, and you're just going to become better at something new. You know, maybe you can learn something new, learn a new skill or a new trade or whatever the case may be, right? So find something new to do, something that you've always had an interest in and do it, you know what I'm saying? There's no reason not to find a way to do it. If you don't have the resources, the money, or the connections, or whatever the case is, figure it out, you know? Set yourself a goal to do it, all right? And, you know, a lot of times people get bored in life because they don't have new things to work on, new projects, so always keep yourself busy, and that's something you can do by just, you know, having a goal or joining a, you know, a softball or a soccer team, right, or a football team, or a, a pool club, or a dart club, or a book club, or a gym, like, there's so many things you can do, you know, golf club, like, whatever the case is, right, so find something to do, you know, meet new people, get out there. Uh, eighth, guys, the eighth thing I would suggest is keep your face well taken care of, okay, have a skincare routine, morning and night, when you wake up, should have a morning wash, like an everyday face wash. Boom. Then you want to moisturize it. Then you want to hit it with some sunscreen if you're going to be outside and exposed to sunlight. But then regardless, you definitely got you, you have to take care of your skin, man. You have to take care of your skin. Your skin is your face. It's what everybody looks at. 
And as you become older, you want to be able to preserve your good looks, right? You don't want to become old, wrinkly, dry, and washed up. Right? You want to be always vibrant, always radiant, and always shining. All right, so best way to do that is really to just take care of your face, and it's not hard to do. You know, it's not, it doesn't take long, and it's not something that many of you do, you know, so I want you to start doing it. Take better care of your skin, all right? So like I said, wake up, wash your face, moisturize. Before you go to sleep, same thing. Wash your face, moisturize. There's different skincare products for AM and PM and different products. I'll probably end up doing some promotions for some brands in the future. Uh, right now, if you're interested, you can check out my website at Sexy's Instagram down below. I have an amazing hair, skin, and body care product line, so reach out to me. I'll get you your first, you know, taste of what a uh, skincare routine is like. You know what I'm saying? We'll hook you up with the exfoliator. We'll hook you up with the moisturizer. We'll hook you up with the wash, you know, and you can try it for yourself. Okay? If you don't want to work with us, check out other brands, you know, but I highly suggest take good care of your skin. You'll thank yourself in the future. Plus, you start to have more confidence as you start to look better. All right, guys. And lastly, oh, no, not lastly. The ninth thing, though, is, you know, make sure you're taking care of your hair. You know, like, you have to have a good hairstyle, guys. You know, take better time. Take better care and focus more on your style. What's your look? What is your hair saying about you? Is it well kept? Is it groomed? Is it shaved? Is it trimmed? Is it lined up? Is it curly? Is it straight? Like, what does your hair look like? Is it messy? Is it gelled up? Like, have a style and, and make sure it, it speaks again to you. It says something about you. If you want to add height, add value. You know? But most importantly, make sure your hair is taken care of. You know? It's obvious to tell when people don't do anything with their hair. You know? It just looks like death, right? So, make sure you take good care of your hair, you know, and have a routine for, you know, your dry pools and your conditioners, you know, and, you know, getting cleaned up and shaved up, you know, every two weeks, two, three weeks, you know, make sure you take good care of yourself. And that way, you know, you look good, you feel good, and you be good, man. All right? Last but not least, man, take some personal time for yourself. That means, you know, stop thinking about the world, everything going on, social media, who this is that and whatever, who where, everything. Just stop thinking about all of that. Detach, deconnect, just, you know, deep associate and, you know, what's the word? Unplug, right? And take some time for yourself, man, you know, and just reflect on your own life and yourself and your, on your time, you know? A lot of times you guys are so caught up with the world and what's going on, you always are here and there and with this person and that person, you have no time for yourself. Now, maybe because of quarantine, you haven't spent a lot of time with yourself, and hopefully you've been using that time well, you know. But it's important to take at least an hour to yourself every day to regather, re, you know, rethink, you know, and just become grounded, you know what I'm saying? Instead of being caught up in just the, the, the movement of the world, you know, sometimes a lot of you just need to take a step back, you know, and you'll be way better off. You know, you'll be more apt for whatever's coming, you know, when you're about to go out or who you're about to meet or call, you know? Trust me, take more time for yourself and every interaction and everything you do in life will just be more controlled and you'll have more awareness throughout it, okay? So that's it, guys. Hope you liked this video. Make sure you hit the like button. If you did, comment below what you want to know. Make sure you smash the subscribe button. Hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any more of the videos. Follow me on Instagram. Check out my website. Check out my book, New You Now. A guide to amazing improvement. It's fire. You'll love it. Definitely a game changer. And if you need help, man, just send me a direct message or email me. You can find me. It's not that difficult. And as always, stay happy, healthy, wealthy, blessed, and focused on success. And until next time, peace. Thanks for watching.